Hello YouTubers, this is a new session where I get to talk to you about a passion project of mine, a project I'm really excited about, I've been working on it for quite some time uh, now, and it's called Peer LLM. Peer LLM, it's a decentralized AI idea where anybody, anywhere, if you can run your local AI model on your local machine, you can also benefit for it, from it. It can actually make you money, it can make you passive income if the infrastructure is properly set in place. Why is that important and how is that important? Let me just explain the idea for you first. Like, Let's draw a, a beautiful diagram and then I'm going to show you why that's important and it's going to help us in, in a major way. So let's just start from the thing that we've always been talking about. Like, If you've been a, if you've been a follower of this channel, we talked about having a machine, let's call it a host, and this host basically has an LLM or LLMs in it. So remember how we're basically talking to, you know, the tiny llama, you know, we talked about, you know, being able to integrate with, with, with the uh, large language models, expose an API, create a chat bot, and all that kind of stuff. That's great. But in order for you to actually benefit from this, you need to be able to kind of take it with you on your phone and kind of go out there in the world and be able to communicate with it. Well, phones have their limitations in terms of hardware and software, but what you can do is that you can connect to a network that can delegate that communication to your dedicated host. So imagine having many, many people. So let's just say, just say you have a, a network in here. Let's call it the orchestrator orchestrator and this orchestrator basically knows about your host as soon as you spin up your host it kind of goes and registers itself to that orchestrator it basically says hey he, this is me you know come talk to me right and then you are out there on your phone and you want to use your host so you get to hit the host with your own phone so this is a mobile app or a consumer it doesn't matter what it is and you're prompting sending a prompt you're prompting the orchestrator, the orchestrator goes back and does what kind of sends the prompt to your host. So basically, you're running the host locally on your own machine. There is this orchestrator sitting anywhere you want on a public network where you can actually communicate with it, adding in your security layers and whatnot. And then you're building or having this mobile app that can prompt that orchestrator and get back responses. Well, that sounds like a great deal, but you know how does this benefit you? It benefits you in terms that, first of all, since you are the host and you're the one running this network, you don't have to pay anyone for anything. You can literally just go anywhere you want. I can go to any app that kind of supports that idea. This is this is an app that supports that idea, and I can basically I'm going to show you this app in a, in a little bit. And basically, you can communicate with this app. You can talk to this app. It doesn't matter what 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 the case may be. But let me kind of take this idea a little bit further. What if you have multitude of hosts, right? So you have multitude of these hosts with LLMs. So that's you and your neighbor and your next door and your friend somewhere there. And all of you are basically connected to the same network. And whenever someone needs compute, they need power, they need AI to kind of do something for them, it gets routed to one of these hosts. So in, instead of just a mobile app, it becomes like maybe an, an Edge API, maybe a web app maybe a another system right some other system internal system or another ai or an mcp server or whatever the case may be imagine all of these kind of talking to that orchestrator or this network or networks right where they're sending prompts and it gets fairly distributed across these hosts so basically your local machine, your PC, is not just something that's helping you kind of go on, you know, you take your AI with you anywhere. Maybe you are in the train or in an airplane. You can't really spin an LLM that fa that fast, or maybe the machine that you're in or the terminal that you're using is not ready for that. And you're keeping it running at your home. That's your local kind of server. That's your LLM farm. It's connected to a network. The network recognizes you as a host, and then your application basically starts communicating with you, 
Now let's add another layer on top of that and just go and say, well, if you offer your host, maybe you should have some passive income. Maybe you should have some monetary value. Like a lot of people today, they they lost and they're continuing to lose their jobs because of AI. AI is automating everything around us and it's going to make it a little bit harder for a lot of people, especially parents, you know, people who have responsibilities and bills, people who have issues, you know, kind of health issues and whatnot. It's not just enough uh, of a burden for them to go out there and look for another opportunity. It's also even harder for them to actually land that opportunity. You will hear a lot of people in the AI and the tech industry be like, yeah, AI is taking away jobs, but it's creating new jobs. But the missing, the missing link there is that how long are you going to be able to learn these new skill sets? that lands you these new jobs that AI has created. That's the missing kind of part of that kind of chain of thought or logic. But more importantly, what if some people just can't do it? They just can't, they're comfortable where they are and this is their source of income and they can't do it anymore. Well, I thought to myself, well, AI is meant to help us, assist us. It's helped it's meant to kind of give you the opportunity to go out there and fulfill your dreams and be who you really want it to be while it's working for you around the clock making you money. This idea of peer LLM is exactly that. It's the idea of having people, that's that side in the green, that's the consumer side, using your network, right? These guys should be blue because it's an exposure. And then using your network, and when they use their network, they get to kind of leverage your servers. And when the, the token lands on your host, you know, something calculates how many tokens, how many AI consumption has happened and gets you and gets you paid for it. OK, that's the idea. Can we turn this idea into a reality? So I went ahead and created if you're um, if you're. If you're watching this, it doesn't matter where you're watching this. You can do it on your phone. If you go to peerllm.com, you will see the very first release of this idea, right? It's 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 just a very beta, maybe even alpha early release where you get to see the concepts and the vision that I have for this project and the ideas, how you're going to get requests, you get payments, you know, the network kind of distributes and manages, you know, your communication, you can have your own, your own self-hosted network and all that fun stuff. And then I'm going to kind of link you to our kind of Discord channel so you get to chat with me and, um, uh, you know, the community and kind of learn about how this whole thing works. But before doing that, I'm going to go ahead and just show you a demo of spinning up a host. It's just simple host. I'm going to go ahead and spin that host real quick. So here's a host that's running on my machine. So as you can see here in the console application, it's basically saying I registered this host. So this host now is connected to that network. How do I know that? If you go on check our network, you will see that it's showing my host available. That's my host right there, right? And I just spun up that host. So there are no conversations. There's nothing. It's serving the Mistral model. So it's kind of showing all the models, the kind of models that you can serve. I'm going to do the exact same thing on this machine behind me. I'm just going to go ahead and run the same thing just to show you. This is another machine that just started. And boom, you have another host, right? And the more and more people kind of start kind of you know registering into that peer llm network the more hosts are going to show up in here you can even run it on a laptop it's not really that hard as long as you're serving the model perfectly well okay so that's that's the peer llm network part okay i wanted to show you also an example where you can chat with it right like you can actually communicate remember when i you know i needed an example for a client so if you look at this let me kind of remove all the colors and I'm just gonna go with a simple web app where you can actually do some chatting right so this guy in blue right here that web app is gonna talk to the orchestrator and then eventually it's gonna land into one of these hosts and I'm gonna show you in real time how that works if I click on check our chat here's a chat window just a very simple chat window you know in the future it's gonna give you like a list of all the the models the llm models that are available from the drop down in here but now we only have mistral they have a beautiful apache 2 license it's with the mistral company you get to do whatever you want i'm just gonna go here and say uh hi can you explain to me uh the concept of agentic ai right so 
I am hitting this on a public website and if you look at the network behind me you can see the tokens are being served in real time and the request is being so this landed on Big B that's this machine that I'm in and if you look up in here it's actually serving that through that network so there's someone anywhere in the world that can literally go in and basically use that chat model right now and be able to be served you know based on that model so now that I know the tokens that were received and the tokens that were served I can go and say okay whoever is the owner of that Big B host this person can actually get paid for however much tokens they served imagine this at a larger scale right it's not just about offering your own computer what if you're offering your own data for training what if you're offering other models like other software engineers they get to build their own LLMs just like Mistral they build their own LLMs and then they sell these models and distribute these models across multiple hosts right a community like the hugging face community is full of LLMs that are having a super awesome amazing uh, licenses that would allow just like this one I said well listen as long as you're attributing you know the license and you're saying this is under Apache license we don't have a problem with you right this is just a simple idea. I'm going to drop some links in the chat just so you can kind of understand this idea. And I'm going to start kind of rolling out some changes for the marketplace. I want people to be able to register. I want them to be able to run their own hosts. I want them to be able to kind of see how they can communicate with a host. You get to choose a preferred host. This is a super big project. It's not exactly an app. It's not exactly a Blazor app or, a, or an API or something like that. It's more of a new idea and a new AI economy that's influenced with this idea of decentralization that I am hoping could help people still sustain and maintain themselves in a society or a community or an industry where AI is slowly but surely eating up jobs. I'm hearing 77,000 jobs lost to AI. Okay, how are these people going to survive? Well, you know, if you have a host, if you have a computer at home and you can become a host for this network and then we count the tokens that your host is serving or you're offering data or you're offering LLMs as, a, as an engineer, you get to have an entirely new idea of a, a passive income. What's really beautiful about this is that if this works the way I hope and dream for it to work, what it's going to do is that it's going to enable people to kind of live the life they, own, they always wanted to live. So your computer is sitting at home generating income for you. You get to spend more time with your family, with your friends. You get to travel the world. You get to practice your hobbies. You get to be an artist if you want to be an artist. You get to kind of do some paintings and then give that as data that can be consumed across that network. This is just an introduction of Peer LLM. As you may have guessed, there will be a lot more videos, hopefully, that I'm going to be dropping that explains all the bits and pieces of that. It relies heavily on uh, the community and the engineers and people beyond engineers, just regular people on the day-to-day -day that can just set up a host and just keep things running. I hope you find this a little bit inspiring. The website peerllm.com uh, has a link or a button that will take you to our Discord server. Join our Discord server. It's called the Standard Community. Ask any questions you want. I'm going to get this going as soon and as fast as possible and hope you find this uh, kind of fun. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section. And as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you very very, very, very soon. Take care.